Good morning, everybody. Relic right here. We're at an uh, old farm site in middle Georgia. Got uh, Uncle Marty, Sister Rhonda behind the camera, and a new metal detecting buddy, uh, Shane Durantz. We all got Note to Legends. We all got Root Slayers. Got Clicker Bob. We're on number 853 on our journey. So uh, lately we've been digging about 60 holes in two or three hours. Shane and I may detect till dark tonight, so I'm hoping for 100 holes. Please, if you enjoy what you're looking at, like, comment, and subscribe. I noticed that Shane, we've never detected before, but I noticed he had an external battery. Never had a battery run out. I've, I've detected for eight, nine hours before. I've had a battery get low, but I've never had one run down. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they're indestructible. You can't tear them up. We throw them in the back of the truck with a bunch of junk. We do try to keep the shovels off of them, but that's only because we, we paid good money for them. But anyway, um, Note to Legend is, is literally one of the best machines for what we're doing that I could imagine. the truck hole number two on the bay <clears throat> a little bouncy probably big iron but it was a pretty decent little signal oh there it is that's odd because it feels now like a steel legend oh no ah. oh oh piece of a cooking pot Cool, recovering artifacts together. Tiny little signal right here, but it's deep, so I like it. In our world, deep is good. At least the, the ground is not super, super deep or hard to dig in. No, it's not too bad. We had rain yesterday, so that definitely helped. As long as you can avoid that big root, <laughs> which I didn't. How do you know how deep stuff is? There it is. Ha, look at there. That doesn't match. <laughs> match the bean pot I just gave you, does it? Might. Old pot. So with the note of legend, how do you determine how deep something is? <clears throat> so the volume, of course, deeper it is and the smaller it is to me, the lower the volume. But it also has a little line on the side that tells you. Yeah, I saw the line. So if the first line is dark or second line, then it's got, what, five or six lines? Yeah, it's got several lines. And uh, <clears throat> I guess when you really find a deep target, yeah. if it's a good number, 40, 41, 48, and it won't read right there, that means it's really, really deep. So, yeah, so first line or two is on top. Depending on how big it is, it, you know, it, it, it doesn't know the size of the object. Right. And then as it gets deeper, you got five or six lines lit up. So, gotcha. yep. so if the very first line is lit up, it means it's shallow or deep? <clears throat> Most likely shallow or big. Okay. Once again, if it's big, it, it, it's gonna read it better. So it doesn't matter how deep it is, it may think it's shallow. Okay. If it's small, it's gonna have a harder time. So you may have a little 22 shell and it might be on the surface, but yet it thinks it's you know four oh, inches deep. That makes so sense. Depends on the so, size. But, yep. All right, thanks. What you got, Shane? Huh. I don't know. Take a bit Easter egg. Wouldn't that, <laughs> wouldn't that be nice to find them? I know one thing, these briars are extremely, <laughs> they're like Velcro. Oh, briars. All right, while Shane is digging up an Easter egg, <laughs> I got a serious signal right here. I'll let you swing over this before I dig it, Shane. All right. That right there? Yeah. Either a piece of grass, lantern top, 
silver dime. Oh yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? That's a, yeah, that's a good. So I'm getting 28 to 30. Hmm. When what? a legend does that, yeah. You don't do. Man, that's a that's a dime signal all day long. Really? All day long. And how can you tell? 46, 47, 45 to 47, but 46, 47. Yeah. I think it's gonna be something big. <laughs> Look at that. Cool, though. <laughs> yeah. So maybe inside the dirt there, maybe there's a little silver dime in there. Maybe that was the signal. <laughs> cool old axe head. Look how it's worn. Yep. It'd wear down on the edges and they'd sharpen it and sharpen it and eventually it'd be just about round. Cool old axe yeah. head. We're covering artifacts what together. What you got, Shane? Well, it's giving me a, a low number, which is telling me it's probably iron. So, well, I tell you what, these briars ain't no joke. Nope. You know what? I don't have kids, but if I had a daughter, I would plant those right outside her window. Whatever it is, we need a surface. That was a calf off of something. Looks like the cap off of the, and unfortunately it's a screw cap, so that means yeah. it's not very old. Yeah. I'm digging up an Indian head penny. Might only be a weedy. We'll see. <clears throat> well. Is that confident about it? He is about 10% of the time he's right. 10? Come on, man. <laughs> Was that on camera that you said that? That's embarrassing. What did you just say? The other day he he called a brass doorknob and it was a brass doorknob. Wow. And it was on Marty's it was on Marty's note to. Oh, yeah. Wow. What number are you getting? 3940. In the plug. In the plug. Hole number nine on the day, I think. Nine or ten. Penny, where are you at? Right there somewhere. Come on. I think I don't know how to use a pinpoint. Ha! Ah, not a penny. Close. Round though. Round out of the ground. Make sure that was a signal, but it probably was. I think, I think that, I'm pretty sure that's my mark right there. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get the rest of it out of the ground. Super glue work on the uh, iron. <laughs> JB Well does. <laughs> that's it. That's so, it does. If you're filming this, Sister Rhonda, some people are going to say, well, that's a piece of glass on top of the ground. There's no way that's the target. And they'd be right. The metal detector doesn't pick up glass, but that is the bottom of old mason jar. I believe Shane's going to finish digging up his stove. Eh? <laughs> there. All right, I forgot to click the rest of it. Yep. Cool. Then I get to go home and be a puzzle. And glue um, it back together. I never was very good at puzzles. Yeah. Me neither. Me neither. But you know, the cool part is you got to get two relics instead of one. <laughs> I guess I'll use the corner. Now I took the cover off of it. It might work a little better. <laughs> is, it out, is it in the clump right there? I don't know. Ugh. Is oh, it a nail? Yeah, a nail. It's okay. Square nails are good. This is not my tire. <laughs> That'd be the worst kind. Yep. Glass is falling down, foggy. Humidity's up, and we're hearing thunder in the distance. So our eight-hour dig may turn into less than an eight-hour dig. I think I got something on the surface right there. I'll... Careful, Bob. It's a long way down. Ah. I might have something cooler. I think I probably need to play around in that hole just a little while. Look how pretty that is. Cool old crockware. We're gonna find some more of that, guys. That's pretty. Got flowers on it. Oh, so Pe 
Piece of plate, yep. Yes, I probably broke it. More of the same. Pretty little brown flowers on there. <laughs> oh no, please tell me I didn't break this. The whole thing. The whole plate's in the ground. There's, there's more of it. Yeah, it's broke all the pieces, but I think the whole thing's there. We put it together on the tailgate. Yeah. Some pretty little flowers on it. I'm gonna gather up all the big pieces anyway. And then I'm gonna figure out what my metal detector's doing. Cause it's liking something as well. Where's the target? Oh, there's more of it. Be quiet, metal detector. I know you're not looking for glass. I know you're looking for metal. shovel full now that we got the most of the plate out 200 year old plate out of the way probably not 200 y'all but it sounded good when i said it don't y'all think it sounded good all right where's the target close to hole number 20 on the bay Something. well that's cool Oh, it's got beads, it rolls. What is it? It's got beads and it rolls. Ooh, I got dizzy, sorry y'all. I may have to go get some water. That looks familiar. It's not silver, is it? Do those beads The move? beads roll, yeah. But they're, little, but they're stationary, they're... Got little rolly beads on there. Might be some more of that in the ground. That was definitely my good signal, whatever that is. Huh. I'll clean that up at the truck. I would get my toothbrush out, but it's buried in uh, old pieces of plate right now. Covering artifacts together. All right, so the cool thing about the Notes of Legend is it, it kind of tells you and it has an idea of what you might have. Now, when you're in a really old, old home place, I think you should dig most all your targets because you don't know what they are. And so I dug this hole and it sounded like iron, right? And then I went back over it, and what was happening is I had two nails in the hole with a coin. Now, it's giving me 25, 24, what was that big? Nickel. Nickel. Let me put yep. my 50 year old glasses let, let on. Let me, uh, let me check it with mine. If you don't mind, we'll Let's do it. They both got note to legends, but they've got different settings. Look at that number on it. What's that mean? That is a nickel signal all day long. Yep. From a modern nickel all the way back to a buffalo and further. Really? Nice for the buffalo. Very cool. All right, let's see what we got. Like I had no idea these even existed until recently. <laughs> <laughs> so you were just digging around in the dirt. Yeah. Oh, you know what I have in my pocket? I have a toothbrush. Ah, I got one somewhere. Toothbrushes are cool out here. And the cool thing is if you're out here and you know why I wear these sunglasses and look stupid all the time? Because they got old dude readers right there. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> but when it gets this hot, they stay sweaty. And if you need to brush your teeth while you're out here. Uh-oh. You dropped oh, it. No. Good this metal. We can find it. All right. All right. You know what I we need? We need see. a flashlight. I got one on my phone. Is it a coin or a button? Uh, I think it's a coin. It's a nickel. How about this right here? Hang on. Shine it on it from the side. Oh, my phone died. <laughs> Hey, at least I got a flashlight and a phone in the truck. So at least now out. I don't have to worry about put my it, clients calling me. Put it in your hand without the glove, please. Thank you. We need some light, don't we? We, we will get it to the tailgate. Yep. Let y'all know what it is. Recovering yep, yep. artifacts together. Good find, Shane. Probably a, a bullet. Shane just dug that Indian head penny behind us. So, I mean, Indian head nickel behind us. We literally are going to get up in here in the house and see what we can find. <laughs> Old cornerstones. I think I got a big piece of iron right here. But let's see what it is. Oh, it's a big piece of iron. This might be the third or fourth shovel we've dug with a shovel in the last few days. Ugh. I dug a shovel with a shovel the other day. 
I guarantee you it's 30 inches deep, Shane. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I knew I felt shovel. Check it out. <laughs> the evolution of shovels, y'all, look. Probably not quite 100 years old, 60 or 80, and a year old. Recovering artifacts with shovels. I really don't want to drop it because I really don't want to bend back over. What we got? Well, that is a square nail. The pin pointer was fine. That is not my little 30. Can't remember what the numbers were. Let's see what the numbers were. We got Shane. He's like Shane is. I'm landscaping. Freaking out because he found the buffalo nickel, <laughs> as he should be. As he should be. That's a pretty cool find in our world. Well, they do that sometimes. I'll tell you when they hide the worst, right after you dig a buffalo nickel. <laughs> <laughs> because the next hole you ain't giving up on, right? right. You're gonna dig it. All right, What'd you miss? I got a bouncy signal, but I got some high tones in there. And my friend Shane taught me that when it's bouncy, but it's got some high tones, it's you get those square nails out of the way, then you got something good. Okay, getting on my knees. Y'all know it's got to be good if I'm getting on my knees. A little. What'd and you find? Piece of metal. Uh oh. Hey, I ain't got a piece of metal. Come here. What you got? Surely that's not a dandy button. It's too big. It's too big. Oh, but I've, it's... I've seen dandy buttons that big. It's very, very brassy, though. If we could just own a flashlight, if one of us just owned a flashlight. Just turn it over. Is there anything in the center? I don't know, that is cool. It's round and it's a piece of brass and it's got something on it, doesn't it have writing on it? Yeah. Where's that magic toothbrush? Right here. I saw that toothbrush turn a little piece of dirt into a buffalo nickel. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I got some way down here in my pouch somewhere. <laughs> if I get mine before you. I think I'll no, I here. can't find it. Maybe is there writing on there? Yeah, it's right down there. Thank you, sir. Marty, I don't know what you're finding over there, but this might be the hot spot. Oh, it's just like a letter. Oh, it's an anchor. No way. It is an anchor. Yep, it is an anchor. I don't, I don't know. I don't have it's a... It's got holes all around it. It's navy, isn't it? It's got holes all around it. I bet that's navy. Navy something badge? Yep, I don't know. Navy something. Very cool, y'all. I suspect we will show y'all this again on the tailgate. Recovering artifacts in the sweat together. Sister Ron is gonna film you digging up another buffalo nickel. I'm gonna dig this in the background. This isn't a buffalo nickel, but we're gonna double up on uh we're gonna double up on camera time. But it's small. Oh good. Whatever it is, it's right there. Don't forget, we're very lucky that the soil is soft. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, God, goodness gracious. <laughs> I may have broke it. <laughs> broke it again. Just because there's roots doesn't mean it's not nice to have soft soil. Though. Let's see what I broke over here. How about a head stamp in there with the buffalo nickel and the anchor though you know that's just crazy oh. what is that i don't know it's a thing not sure what that maybe a i don't know handle. what that is probably yeah sort of handle what you got got a really good signal could be too good to be true it'd be a can lid we gotta dig it up and sleep yeah. all right i got something cool Shane, I've heard rumors they're gonna make pin pointers, or they're already making pin pointers that will deter that will uh, distinguish ferrous and non ferrous really? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Yep. I don't know what I have, but it's very heavy, and I really wanted to say it was inside of a pocket watch, which it may be. No. But I'm thinking it's probably a pulley. Is it a pulley from the window weights? I think it no, because those are iron usually. I don't know what I have, but that's a heavy, cool piece of brass. 
It was a killer signal. Recovering artifacts together. We'll talk more about this on the tailgate when we have some sunlight and some flashlight. What you got on Camardi? Stove great. Oh. Not deep enough though, or big. Very cool. 34. Very cool. Thank you. So, if you can get a plug out of the ground, mm -hmm. and that's an if here in the woods, it's tough. But if you can, let me get right here and just show you something. So basically if 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 you got a target. You got a shallow target right uh -huh. there. Beep, 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 beep. I sound just like a legend. Beep, 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 beep. But if you got a shallow target right there and you can flip it out of the ground, uh -huh. flip it out of the ground and then check it before you ever bend over. That way you're, you've are you you've reduced your area down to 50%. Oh, I it's either you. in the plug or it's right. in the hole. Right. If it's in the hole and the ground's loose, you might want to dig it one more time before you get down on your knees. But at some point... See, I know you put your foot behind your shovel, too, to give you leverage. Yeah, but mm -hmm. at some point, you have reduced your area to look for the item. I like it. And, and, and what it's doing is, you got to assume there's square nails here everywhere. Mm -hmm. So when you go down with your pinpointer, you're going to find something most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> but if you don't know where your target is, then you're going to just be pulling out square nails. If you know your target's over here in the plug, beep, 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 uh -huh. you can ignore all the square nails in the ground. Make That's sense? a great tip. I'm round. Look like a like a cap, a some kind of bottle uh, cap. cap. Or yeah. Cool. We haven't been finding those. Oh, that's like a beer bottle cap. Those those read up. Those right there make your um your adrenaline start pumping, and then you're like, uh, oh, just a bottle cap. Best site I ever dug on was a 18, 18, 14 schoolhouse. I've dug multiple V nickels, silver dimes, probably twenty different coins there. Rhonda found a V nickel there one time. But uh, best site I've ever dug, and I've dug 50 of those caps there. <laughs> it's the only trash there, is those bottle caps. Really? Well, it's telling me 42 to 43, is that a dime? Mm, dimes are usually 45, 47. Yeah. I think that bottle cap we just dug, for some reason that 43, that 43 to me, 43, 44 area, yeah. it's usually not a good signal. But anything below it, just below it, or anything above it, is usually something cool. So, huh. all right, so plug out of the ground. Yep. There's our signal right there. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to go in here looking for nails. Gotcha. We know what's right there without ever bending over. That's a great tip. Yeah. We know where it's <laughs> at. <laughs> it saves a lot of lot of bending over. Just fell off the plug, didn't it? Oh, oh it was just deeper. Yeah. Small and it's good. All right, what did I just do with it? Huh? All right, what do we have here? Something cool. All right, y'all, I just don't know what that is. What that is a handle or a silver, leg off silver something? wash. Off of something. I don't know. This is a good signal. Yep. Is that metal? Is that the target? Yep. Yep. 44. 43, 44. You think it's silver? Ring off an axle. Round out of the ground, recovering artifacts together. Shane, what you got? I don't know. Something is tricking me. Is that a piece of wire? No. One of them stamps. Ah, head, head stamp. stamp. Yeah. Yep. Yep. No, it ain't no. Right there. Yep. Very That's pretty. Trying to get back to the truck and get some water. So check out the note to legend, telling me there's a good signal right there. Ignoring that piece of barbed wire because we know that's not the signal. Let's move it out of the way though. Signal's getting even better now, although it's a little shallow. It'd be big iron, a little bouncy. But the cool part is it ignored that piece of barbed wire and said, hey, dig right here, there might be something cool. It might just be a big old root or a rock. That's all I'm finding. I don't know what side I gotta get on to call it the right side. There we go. How about that? Glass is falling down. Pretty 
Get a little signal still in the hole. <sighs> Might have some glass in that one, y'all. They are irritating little dudes until they look like that when you oh it's broke dog uh -huh. thought i had a whole one cool all right everybody back at the uh tailgate first dump of the day wow no wonder it's getting heavy Ugh. we're just gonna run through it right quick we'll show y'all better later what is that that's that nickel i found oh that wasn't in my pouch was it no oh okay <laughs> i was gonna say thank you very much we got pottery we got brass I think that's a compact lid. Thought it was a mason jar lid, but I think that's a compact lid. We got pottery, cool pottery, whatever that is. Marty's holding that duh. Wow, that's getting cooler and cooler looking all the time. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. It's a thing. Might not be that old, but still. We got buckles. We got mason jar lids. We got milk glass. What else we found? We found some cool stuff. Oh, the, I found a, the thing with the anchor on it. The anchor is it in my it's, pocket? No, it's right there under that piece of slab right there in the middle. Right here. Oh, yep. yeah, cool. Found a. We're gonna have to put this on our good friends Metal Detect in Georgia and find out what that is. But anyway, it's an anchor on some sort of plate. So obviously, uh, navy. Got cool old pottery. All kind of decos on it. I'd say that's pretty good first. What guys? Hour and a half. Yeah, and for Christmas, piece of stove. I'm going to get you something to put this really cool stuff in. So you're putting it in there with glass and, and it looks like a rat nest in there. You know, some somebody that does this for a living, they ought to come up with something like called a fines box or something. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. If somebody had a fines box, I'd probably, well, I'd probably leave it in my truck. But i got to leave. <laughs> Inside that, joke. Look at that little deco thing right there. Uh-huh. That's cool. Cool old pottery, cool old stuff. Uh, Uncle Marty dug a inside of a pocket watch fun stuff water break two squinchers in one big old icy water cup the only thing that keeps my legs from cramping when we're sweating like this cool old finds squincher I, <laughs> I, I thought i'd eat by any joking, <laughs> baby. Oh, oh heard that it sounded like 10. What it sounded like. Or a root one. Oh, that's a rock. So you got a pin pointer? I do. Uh-huh. Oops. Oops. Oh, he's gonna sound something cool. Uh-huh. I can't see that. It's got something on it. It's a old lock. Part of a lock. It's a lock. lock. Yeah, it's a lock. Very cool. Yeah, that dug something very similar. You toothbrush yet, sir? That is cool. Is it numbers? No, it's letters. I think I left toothbrush in the car. I got one in my pocket. Hang RFD. On. RFD. RFD. Wait a minute. That's a brand. Wait a minute. No, it's a uh, postal something. I don't know. I just saw somebody identify one not long ago, though. We dig up stuff. Okay, what's this? Oh, that goes to a. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. I'm like, Wait a minute. Uh. It's got something to do with postal, I think. Anyway, yes, RFD. yes, yes, yes. It was on last week. Yeah. Uh, rural. Rural. Something oh, delivery. Rural something delivery. Rural. Is it made out of? What is it made out of? Brass. Brass. Rural fire department. No. no. Rural. Forty-nine rural. to fifty. Yep. Okay. What'd you call them? Stamp head? Head stamps. Head stamp. Another old head stamp. Hey, what'd you tell me? It's old one, didn't you? <laughs> and it was two boys. Boy, if you like to kick and cut fish, you can come here. <laughs> and get you. Oh my gosh. That's a wiggler. That's <laughs> old. Oh, if I have a. I don't know what that was. Come on, the tractor probably. Yeah. Might have a name on it. It's cool. Oh, uh -oh. Mm -hmm. there's a safe. What number are we on? I didn't click Bob. 
What number is the safe going to be? 894. 894. We started at 853. I can't remember. 41 seconds? Yeah, I think so. So, oh, 41 on the day is going to be the safe. One thing, sure, it's probably not a, uh, it's probably not a old king. Ah. Uh, cool. Ah, cool. Oh, uh, ho. What's up, ho? Yeah. <laughs> Covering artifacts together. All right, been digging about three hours. I've dug 50 holes. I suspect Shane's dug about 50 and probably Marty's dug 50. Got some cool old finds. I don't know if we're gonna dig a little longer or not, but I know Marty and Rhonda are ready to head back to the house. So uh, just, I'm gonna start with the little things, a cool old lock. Can't remember what that stands for, but we're gonna figure it out here in shortly. It'll probably be in the video. Uh, a couple of three or four old head stamps. Uh, Neat harmonica reed, Shane Doug. First harmonica reed ever. <laughs> um, square nails, old pocket watch, Uncle Marty Doug. And that's made out of what? Made out of brass, I would think. Oh, inside of a pocket watch. Um, some sort of heavy thing, I don't know. Probably have to post that on a metal detecting site and figure out what that is. Very heavy piece of brass. Specifically for something. There's several old mason jars. Um, two or three different hinges, handle off something. That's not a mason jar. We never figured out what that was, but I bet you that's a compact lid. Oh, it's got writing on it. I thought it was a writing. Wait a minute. It. Okay, uh, that was on the. That was on the end of that little. Uh, that was on the end of a little lipstick case we dug about a month ago, Ron. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yep. Same stuff. We'll figure that out and post that. Uh, in the video coolest find of the day and we don't know what it is but we will figure it out and post it thought it was some ridiculously large dandy button but that would be too much to hope for although i've seen them close to that big but anyway it's got an anchor on it so we're talking navy um probably i don't know cap off of something front of a badge uh dug a hoe dug a shovel with a shovel probably part of an old stove lid um, more stove parts, pieces of pot, cool old stuff. You forgot the nickel. Oh, <laughs> and as Shane whispered, thank you, Shane. <laughs> Coolest find of the day. Dang it. Nickel. Buffalo nickel. What year was it? I forget. We don't know. Oh, we don't know. because None of, of our eyes are good enough the, to see the it. The dates wore off. Uh, same deal, though. If we can get a date, we might, uh, back's pretty toast. The buffalo was better than the in the indian so maybe they carried it uh indian side up in their pocket or indian side out or something <laughs> anyway cool cool old finds enjoyed it guys a lot of fun